Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play SimCity. And uh, we're just discussing with the chat about what the name things. And I was just about to to reminisce, to nostalgify the the sign tools that you had in uh, in previous things, where you could name like streets and things. Because I don't think that's a thing anymore, and that makes me sad. Um, because I would love to like name Penny Lane, Roulette Street, all those sorts. Of Lost wages. I was gonna name this somewhere something else, but you know what? That is that is just too brilliant. Lost wages, because lost sounds like lost. It's the city of lost wages. It's it's Spanish for by the sea. Lost wages. Lost wages. I like it. So we've got our casino going, we're gonna kick the speed back in. Um, and we are gonna start to consider maybe building some services in these places. So what the, uh, the parks, which is currently bugging me about, to remind you, parks basically act as a dummy or placeholder uh, commercial area. If someone can't get to a commercial area to purchase goods and generate happiness, or rather, if they don't have enough money, they can go to parks. And that's the same thing as going to a shop. Now, the interesting thing about the parks, and the reason they're organized by financial level, is a park will raise the land value up to what it is. So if you put down only basic parks, it will not raise the land value at all. It will simply generate a place where people can go and pick up some happiness. But if you go up to the medium wealth ones, then it'll bring up the land value to medium wealth, and then you'll get medium wealth homes. But you won't go all the way up. It doesn't matter how many medium wealth parks you put down, you should never get a high wealth zone. And then if you go all the way up to the, the triple simoleon sign, then that's what you'll get, high wealth residents. Um, and again, and I've said this before, and people, a lot of people don't, you know, well, it's not that they don't agree with me or whatever. People play the game in different ways, right? But you don't necessarily want to go to the maximum wealth all the time because wealthy people, while they do bring in more tax dollars, they also demand a lot more stuff. So you want to um, you want to make sure. All oh, right, Department of Vehicles. Thank you very much. You want to make sure that you don't um, necessarily overshoot what you can provide. So again, you want that good base of low wealth people that their tax base that aren't too demanding. And then when you're in a position to provide more services, then you bring your wealth level up. You increase your tax base, but you have to balance that off with your, your expenses. So anyway, we've got a casino coming in. That is great. Let's go and finally put down our town hall. Um, what I think I'm going to do at the risk of creating some extra connections. We're going to develop this area a little bit more, and we will go and develop, we'll put down another street, maybe coming right out of here. I think a lot of people will prefer going this way, but we'll give sort of a... Um, no, that's not good. Well, if there's traffic, we do want to give an alternate route. We're just going to... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of draw out a few more sort of placeholder roads over here, and then we'll figure out what we want to do with these things a little bit later. I mean, in one case, it will give sort of alternate routes. Um in a good way, right? But in others, we want to make sure to keep funneling traffic the way we want to funnel it. But I think if we do something like that, it's not going to be a bad thing. And what the... That's not what I wanted at all. Something a little bit more... Not like that. Maybe like this. So there we go. We've got a little bit more alternate flow. And again, once we upgrade more of these roads, that might also help with the traffic, although not as much as you think. Upgrading roads is mostly about increasing your density more than releasing or relieving traffic pressure. We've given a few alternate paths here, so hopefully the new traffic uh, sorting algorithm will, will be able to use that successfully to sort of lower the overall traffic density in, in good and pleasant ways. Um, and I could almost, I can create sort of a secondary set of connections over on this back end as well, doing something kind of like this. <laughs> I said back end. Yes, I am 12. There we are. So we've got some people coming to the casinos, and as I was concerned, this is a really short road, and I foresee tremendous problems with this down the line. So we're probably going to reshape this at some point, but for now it's going to be okay. So people are starting to complain about fire departments, and you know what? I don't blame them. Fire is definitely one of those things you've got to address pretty early on. Um, and I'm going to put this where it's got to be somewhere that's not going to get huge traffic because people have got to be able to move in and out uh there's a fair number of industrial fire you know what i'm going to put it over here and that's where i'll build a city hall on the other side that's maybe stupid i'll build a city hall over here but i'll put down some of the services over here we've actually got a fire going on right now so what a great time to put down our our fire department and let's go and uh put down our sign 
We want the bell. We want the flag. People want to see the poop. Listen, I will I will get you I will get you poop as soon as possible. Why can't I put down the sign? Could this only go on top of things, not on the roads? Oh I forgot. So we'll have to wait until we put down one of these little garages down. People are demanding to see poop. There we go. Poop the poop is flowing. And you know what? I hear the doorbell ringing. This people I have people coming over tonight. They're only supposed to be here in like an hour, but I think they got here early. 